so uh, priyanka in this course we'll going to learn about the database okay as as you know uh, like or you might be aware about this database term have you aware about this database term uh not really can you explain okay yeah so see database actually means you will going to save all your record here all records record means what data okay you will going to save you will save all your record data in one software that is called a database software okay <laughs> and the name of those software is like mysql okay like mysql database oracle database db2 okay db2 okay and postgresql database there are multiple softwares are available okay in order to access those there are multiple software are available that we have to see it okay like uh, how to access and uh, and how to access the data so mysql oracle db2 these are the uh, name of those software okay and you are talking mm -hmm. about those queries okay what is this query queries are used to fetch the data from a database fetch means to pull the data from a database yeah so here database is what a collection of record let me explain you let me give you a scenario have you ever uh, book uh, you might have already uh, booked the tickets uh, airline ticket or you fill the form you applied visa everything right how your yeah. rec record that you enter on the website where the record usually uh, saved or stored or or in another term uh, where those record goes databases correct so normally what you do in the front end means in your website you enter your data your records your details like your name your age your date of birth your destination your source and uh, the flight tickets every detail you enter it okay you click on the submit button once you click on submit button the whole record they will going to save in the database okay and once you save mm -hmm. in the database now the like airline uh, authorities or flight ticket authorities or anyone if they want to check the data how they can check it they can check it based on the based on what queries database queries they will going to run the query and based on that query they will going to fetch the record now let me give you one scenario let me make one front end and then based on that i will going to explain you suppose this is my website uh, let me create it suppose this is your uh, login page so what you usually have in the login page username mm -hmm. next is your password okay and with username you will have a one text box with this uh, username you will going to have one text box okay it might be like this okay one minute so suppose this is your text box text box means where you will going to enter the button and there is one submit button or you can say login button or there is one option to reset the password mm -hmm. and uh, this is for reset password
okay now here the username password is here login and reset password is here okay whenever you enter username and password and click on login how it gives you an access do you know how it works see when you enter username and password and you click on login whatever the details that you enter here it will going to cross check on your database okay database uh, you will find in your database a table hoga okay um just... so in your database there will be one table okay table means just like excel sheet where everyone will have a username and a password for example uh, like priyanka uh, user uh, username value for the priyanka is this one for amit username and password is this one so whatever value you are going to enter okay that as you click on login it with the help of any programming language it will going to cross check and based on that if it matches both value it will going to give you access so where this data save this data are save in this software this software is actually called as database software and in order to see the record normally in your company you might be getting a, a instruction like suppose your manager says uh, hey priyanka give me the record for uh, total sales of 2021 okay so you will going to search for a sales record sales suppose any table might be there i will going to explain you everything just think that in your total sales database in the mysql database there is one uh, database uh, where sales table are there and it will going to have a record for 2021 and you want to see the details so you have to write a query that normally you want to you you will going to learn here you will going to write a query i have a, a question query. yeah so uh, there are three kind of there are different kind of database, right you said yes. so uh, if i know certain like for example if i'm if i know the query on sql is it a similar query Uh, I can put it on database too, or Oracle, or no. like is it completely different? Uh, it will be uh, similar, but there might there might be few changes. Not exactly similar. I will going to say, uh, because every database they have a different query, so I won't say exactly same, but it will be slightly similar. So with small little modification, you can understand. But as in the IT sector, if you know one database. based on that database they will going to hire you for other because they know if you know mysql you can easily learn oracle db2 as well syntax are similar the way uh, slightly changes are there for example username okay you can write username as well and you can write user id as well what is the different both are having same right only the difference yeah. is that their representation so similarly query query will exactly remain same with little changes little changes means in term of function might be uh, mysql have a functions that can make your task more easier that you cannot do in oracle or in db2 or oracle will have a some functions so all are uh, there is you cannot say that uh, they will uh, but uh, you cannot say like uh, both are similar uh, means exactly similar but they are little similar like around 80 to 90 percent, they are similar. Oh, okay. So you can write down. I am going to show you as well the comparison. Uh, I can help you in MySQL, and I can show you in Oracle as well. After that, like what is the comparison? But both are same. And my company right now we are doing uh, we are working on DB2 database. They are still on database. But I want to learn SQL because, I mean, I want to know both. Uh, obviously but i'm saying right now they are uh, they are working on db2 not on mysql okay. but so i think most of the companies they do oracle or mysql right yes correct most of the company they are using mysql and oracle so i will also suggest you to start as a beginner from mysql if you learn mysql or oracle you can easily learn db2 meanwhile i will give you comparison as well sometime in the class that the query that you write in a mysql what is in the db2 and oracle uh, okay. i might be not uh, show you running because uh, this database software usually occupy huge space in your system 
so we'll going to work on i will going to show you on mysql and oracle query i will going to give you you can run it on your system and you can check it or you can run it on uh, on your online as well online oracle uh, software online uh, website is there for oracle database there also you can run uh, similar queries and you can check it so why this uh, database is introduced so that normally just like the excel sheet the whole data you can save it in the database and whenever the task is assigned to you you can fetch the record fetch means you can pull the record like i want to see the total sales of 2021 2020 so how you can make a changes to that and you can fetch those detail so this is about database mm -hmm. okay so there are multiple softwares are there similarly there are no sql database as well what is that yeah so no sql database for unstructured data unstructured means they will not be in the table format they will be in the key value format but um, i will not suggest you to go in more that that is for big data and all have you heard this term big data data engineering no okay then you should not go for this uh, there is another variation of no sql database where data will not be look like a table they will be in the uh, json file json file you know key value it will be in the key value format for example it the value will be like this username and the value will be uh, like this priyanka means it will be in the form of key value key means your username will be your key priyanka is a value of this username the data will not be save in the tabular format the data will be save in like this this is your key means this is your column name this is your value okay so normally whenever i say like this what actually have you work on excel yeah so in excel what 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 do you see there are columns are there there rows are there right so in my sql oracle db2 your data will be save in the row column format how it is let me show you suppose this is your table okay inside your database sales sales is your table name total sales is your database name in in your my my sql database okay my sql is a database software but there we create a multiple database we assign a name to the database for example uh, total sale is one database where we'll have all, all the sales data then uh, profit is one database there will have all the sales data you can give any name i'm just taking a random name and telling you then in that particular database you can create a multiple uh, table like an excel sheet so suppose this is your table okay inside the total sale sales is your table and it will have a value like this suppose it is having a value uh, first is your uh, sales record okay sales this is you can take id or you can say okay here let's take a sales record so this one is your id or serial number you can say this is a sales uh, in million so i'm taking s okay s m sales in the million and next column is sales uh, sales uh, worldwide s for worldwide suppose this s and w is for worldwide okay so this uh, now how uh, so the data will be look like this one in million suppose it's a 10 million and uh, in worldwide is 23 now in uh, here serial number 2 in 2021 uh, the sales increased to uh, suppose 100 and uh, worldwide it is 1000 are you getting right so how the yes. data are saving this is your column name serial name sales in a million sales in your worldwide and these are your row okay row means uh this i'm just taking a random column name it can be anything 
based on the data that you have saved now if you so, want to uh, i have a question yes sorry it might be a very dumb question but so uh, companies they would save their data in certain specific name uh, column name and stuff right yes so what is uh, so what i get issue on my work is like they would tell me okay find this 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 um, yeah. thing uh, run yeah. a query and uh, pull pull the data yes and i would used how i will select the column name because i don't know how the data is saved in particular column name i always get confused with these things that's only i write the query when you write this select star from sales okay when you write this query it will going to fetch you the complete record okay once you fetch the complete record you will come to know okay this table will have a three column serial number sales in a million sales in worldwide or multiple of things now based on the requirement they will say that okay um hey priyanka i want i don't want a uh, worldwide i just wanted to see based on the reason how much uh, is my sales or just want to see that in million how much is my growth in that case what change you will make to query select s s, s m this is the name of my column okay which means uh, sm from sales now what what output it will going to give this will going to give you only one column okay what is the difference here this one okay this query will going to give you output only this column why yeah. because i have mentioned only this column and how do you find it out that what column you have to fetch they will going to obviously tell you otherwise how you're going to fetch which column but in case if they just tell you the table name and a database name this one is your database name okay if they tell you uh, hey priyanka let me put the query there if they say hey priyanka i wanted to see data of total sales database for year 2021 okay total sales database for for sales table I wanted to see the year twenty twenty one. Now you just read this line and uh, explain me what you understand from this then i will explain you i wanted to see sales data of total sales database for sales table so once you so they are looking yeah sorry yes just try from the 2021 uh mm. year 2021 they would uh, like to see the sales uh, database uh, we need to pull out the query to uh, view okay. the sales yeah. table yes so what is a database total sales is your database this one sales table is this one okay and what they want sales data in a million so which column you are going to fetch this one yeah and yeah the second one yeah so like this you have to understand what they want but in case if you don't give you any detail they just say you uh, priyanka just i wanted to see the sales data of uh, total sales database for sales table but they don't mention this in that case what and i need to do? pull all three right good yeah so in that case uh, you have to pull all the columns and once you will put it 
once you get the data, there is an option in MySQL to save this data in the form of table as well. Means you can download this as a Excel sheet like that. And you can forward it to your manager in the mail that uh, this is the finding or this is the table I downloaded or this is the data that you want me to give it to you. So I have downloaded it and this is the query. So probably your manager won't ask you the query. He might ask you to update the query or to remove the bug in case if any of the team member is not able to do this task. Okay. Suppose your team member is using the first query and uh, he is not getting the output. Your manager want output only this column. Then how you are going to debug the code? How you are going to make modification on the code? You are going to modify like this. The second query you are going to write it down and you are going to give it to the manager both query and the data. So this is the way of working. Okay. So this is about the database. So in our syllabus, we're going to download the MySQL database. We're going to write a query. Okay. In such a way that you can write down. Okay. First of all, we have to install the MySQL database. Now, after this, what we are supposed to require after this MySQL database, we're going to download and we're going to download a Oracle as well. A DB2, I will going to see that I can, or I can do only MySQL and DB2 and help you to prepare or otherwise you can do MySQL and Oracle because most of the company they are using MySQL or either Oracle and you can compare both. Like, uh, I will going to give you carry, uh, I will going to help you in learning MySQL and will show you the comparison as well that the query that we write in a MySQL like this, what actually will be in the Oracle as well. Oracle also having the same query for doing this task. But for some query, I, I repeat, for some operation that might be having a different query, but it is not like there will be two difference. There might be few changes, slight changes only. While hiring for a company, company never check which database you know. They just check whether you have whether you have a Pamela with any database, because that's the reason. If you know any of the database, you can simply learn other as well. You can simply search in the Google, like what is a query to check for this. So similar query, you will get it and you will run it. Or based on the code that they will going to share with you, you can get an idea. Okay. If I'm using select star from sales for giving all the column, if I want specific column, then these queries are run. And we're going to learn practically so you will understand more clear there. Any question, clear? No, I don't. It's good. Um, yeah, I understood uh, the basic part. Uh, also, uh, you said we're going to do MySQL and Oracle, not DB2, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you could uh, show me the DB2 comparison to when we, when we do the query, because uh, while running the query at my work, what will be the difference? Uh, then I have to, uh, but DB, DB2, you are running on cloud, right? I think IBM cloud. I am not sure. Okay. Okay, I will check. Otherwise I will show you on MySQL and DB2. We have to skip Oracle because it's not possible to cover all the things. So maybe I can show you on MySQL and DB2. Okay. So uh, even if you learn MySQL DB2, you can easily do it in Oracle. Okay. Okay, so this, sure. This is the complete uh, way how we work in, in the front end part, why the need of database was arrived so that there will be a yeah. single repository I means single repository means all the data will be collected on a same place, like in the database. You will have a total sales database where you have a sales record of 2021, similarly 2020, 2020. So for from 2000 to 2021, you will have all the table. You can check it easily. What is a database? Total sales is a database. Database, you can let me give you the hierarchy. MySQL is your database name, software. Okay. Don't get confused. 
this is the most important part that I'm telling you. MySQL is what? Your database software. I'm writing DB software, so don't get confused. It's a database software. Now, next thing is what? After this database, Okay. Are you getting or it's looking complex to you? Okay. MySQL is a database software. Yeah. Okay. So MySQL is your database software. Okay. Next thing is what? Next thing is your once you download and install it you have to create a multiple database multiple database like a total sales so database you are going to create database means it will going to be a collection of a tables in that database you will have a collection of a table like a total sales database you will have a table like sales of 2021 sales of 2020 2019 2018 2017 like that so you can write Database is what a collection of a tables. Okay. Mm -hmm. After this, you are going to create a table. Okay. That table will be what? This table will uh, once you create a database, you will you will go to the particular table like sales. Okay, sales is what your table. Okay, so in that table, once you go once you reach to this table, you will get your record. You are going to fetch the record, and finally you are going to get this. So how the process is? First, you have to download the software. Then you have to create a database. In that database, you will going to create a multiple table. Like, as I said, you sales for the 2021 that will only have a 2021 record. Then you are going to create one more table sales of 2019, 2018, any, any kind of name you can give it both to the database and sale. And one more thing, database name and table name should always be unique. Okay. Just like in database, you can think like a home your house and family member have a unique name, right? Yeah. So database is your family and uh, means your house and every member will have a unique name. It is not like mm -hmm. you can create a multiple table with a name, sales 2021, sales 2021, say no. Every table name should be unique inside the single database. Okay. So like this, and then you can write a query at the end, what is what will come? You are going to write a query. Write query to fetch record. So this is about your complete understanding about your database. What we do with the database? What is the database software? And uh, database actually means what? It's a collection of tables. Any Anything it will come. Database can be uh company wise right suppose electronic electronic is one database will have a record of multiple table like television refrigerator mobile or your tablet anything similarly one database you can think of like a laptop inside that dell laptop table or anything so it you will going to understand more clearly when we do tomorrow um, practical on this. So first, tomorrow when we connect once, we're going to install a software on your system that is MySQL. Which operating system do you use? You have a Mac or window? Okay. No, I'm asking which, which uh, laptop do you use? Mac or? I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm asking like, uh, which operating system is there? Means which laptop are you using? Mac or Windows? 
So the thing is today I'm using window. I'm getting my Mac, I think by tomorrow. Um, so I will be, that's on, I'll be installing everything tomorrow on that laptop, or I can do that here as well. I mean, it doesn't matter. Right okay. now I'm using Windows. Okay. So you can do it in a window. Okay. Install the software in the window and then you can uh, install every software there. Is it okay? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. So tomorrow, once we connect, we're going to do the installation. I will help you in installing the software. And then we're going to learn how to create a database, how to create a table, how to write a query, how to download the file, everything I will going to help you. Okay, great. Thank you so much.